Okay, now consider the swap instructions. So as the name indicates, these swap instructions, they are used to exchange the uh, data between the processor registers and memory location. Okay, two types of swap instructions are there, swap and swap byte. So both the instructions, so syntax is same. So the instruction is uh, uh, the swap or the swap byte instruction. So we can write the condition if it is required. Otherwise, we can skip writing the uh, condition. And it requires, swap instruction requires three operands. Okay. So in order to exchange the data from, uh, data between the memory location and the processor register. Okay. So here swap instruction, it is used to exchange all the 32 bits of data between the memory location and the processor register. And the swap byte instruction is used to exchange only the least significant byte between the memory location and the processor register. So that is the swap and swap byte instructions. So consider the example for swap and swap byte instructions. See here we have taken one example. So uh, we want to execute these two instructions. Uh, we want to exchange all the 32 bits between the processor register and memory location. And here we want to exchange only the least significant byte between the processor register and memory location. Okay, so consider before execution of uh, these two instructions, so the data is like this. Num1 is a symbol uh, variable and it is uh, it is there inside the memory location and it is loaded, uh, it holds this data, 32 bit data. Num2 holds this 32 bit data. Okay, in R2 register we have the 32 bit data, in R3 register we have this 32 bit data. So in R0 register we are storing the address of the Num1. And in R1 register, we are storing the address of num2. So R0 and R1, they are pointing towards num1 and num2. R0 points to the num1 and R1 points to the num2. At the same time, R4 and R5 registers are loaded with, initialized with the values, zeros. Values, zeros. Okay. So now, so we execute uh, this instru first instruction, swap instruction. Okay. So this swap instruction, uh, it will exchange, it will move the uh, 32 bits data which is pointed by R0 register into the R4 register. Okay, so now see the R0 uh, memory location. R0 is pointing towards the num1. R0 is pointing towards the num1. So what is there in the num1 uh, uh, memory location? Num1 contains this data 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6, 7. So this data, it is loaded into R4 register. So after execution of swap instruction, so R4 holds the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Before R4 was 0, 0, 0. Now after execution of the swap instruction, so R0, R0 is pointing towards num1 and this num1 contains this data and this data is loaded into R4 register. So because R4 is here source register. Okay. So now uh, we need to exchange. Now what about the R2? So R2 register contains this data that is 4008. The 4008 is moved to the memory location which is pointed by R0. R0 is pointing towards the num1. So 4008 is moved to the num1. Okay, previous content of num1 is 1, 2, 3, 6, 6, 7. Now, after execution of swap instruction, num1 is 4008. Okay, similarly, swap byte instruction. So, here only the least significant byte is exchanged between the memory location and the processor register. So, R1 is pointing towards num2. So, what is there in the num2? Num2 contains this 32 bit number, but only the least significant byte, that is 98 is stored into the R5 register. So after execution of the swap byte instruction, R5 holds 98, that is least significant byte from the memory location num2. Okay, at the same time, see the R3. So content of R3, this is 3004. So here uh, uh, 3004 is moved to the memory location which is pointed by R1. So R1 is pointing towards the num2 after execution of the instruction. So here the num2 holds this data. That is A, B, C, D is 
same as the previous content but only change in the least significant byte so the r3 content r3 content is like this only this byte only 0 4 and 98 are exchanged between the memory and the processor register so there is no change see your a b c d e f the most significant three bytes are same okay but only change in the 0 4 because the instruction is swap byte instruction Okay, so this is uh, uh, how we use the swap instruction. Two types of swap instruction, swap and swap byte. Okay. Hmm. Now consider uh, the next instruction. Next instruction. The swap instruction uh, here, uh, they have taken swap instruction, how the swap instruction is executed. Uh, it is there in the text of this example. See here, uh, so memory location uh, 9000 and uh, 9000 memory location is moved to R0 register, the content of this memory location and con uh, content of this register is moved to this memory location. So here the R1 is 11222. Uh, so this content is moved to the this memory location this memory location okay so and similarly the r0 content is initially the zero and this is loaded with the new value that is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 that was there in this memory location that is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so the data is exchanged between like this so our memory location content is moved to r0 register and this R1 register content is moved to this location. Okay, so this is how the exchange operation takes place. So here the instruction is swap instruction. So 32 uh, bits of data or 4 bytes of data is exchanged from this memory location to this register and this register to this memory location. Okay, so now swap instruction. Now consider uh, the next one swap uh, program status register instructions so uh, program status register instructions so these instructions they are used to exchange uh, sorry uh, in order to move the data from uh, the status register to the processor register or in order to move the data from status register to the processor register so three types of program status registers are there so we know that in case of arm processor uh, two types of program status registers are there current program status register and stored program status register okay so current program status register or stored program status register so here see the same in uh, syntax of the instructions mrs that means m stands for move so m stands for move move R stands for general purpose register, S stands for status register. Okay, so here move the status register content to the general purpose register. So this is the uh, source and this is the destination. Status register is the source and uh, R processor register is the destination register. Okay, so here see the syntax first we have tried the MRS instruction to move the data from status register to the general purpose register then condition that is uh, optional and the destination register and source register see here source register it can be current program status register or uh, stored program status register so it can be current program status register or stored program status register status register that is the source so data moved from uh, these registers to the destination register that is the any general purpose register of the ARM processor. Now MS, MSR instruction. So M stands for move. Move the data from general purpose register that is the ARM register to the status register. Okay. So this is the source and this is the status register is the destination. R is the source register. S is the destination register. Okay. So here um, see the syntax MSR so we can write the condition if it is required otherwise we can skip writing the condition and here the uh, destination register it can be the current program status register or it can be st uh, stored program status register.